Hey guys, what's up? In this video, I'm gonna show you how to crush any interview if you wanna get a sales job in the automotive industry. All right guys, what's up? It's Andy. So here's the deal. Look, number one, if you don't know who I am, I made 700 grand my last year selling cars. Two mil as a GM. Have a training company now. We have over 170,000 salespeople across the country. We train and over 1,200 dealers on the training program. Now the reason why I'm telling you that is because I know a car dealership like the back of my hand. I'm a car guy for 23 years since I was 18 years old, okay? As a GM, every single day, I watch people come in for jobs. As a salesperson, I watch people come in for jobs. So many of them unprepared. If you really wanna go get the job you want in your dreams, take a pen and piece of paper right now and just write down some things. Number one, unprepared, all right? Know a little bit about the place you're going to get the job at. Number one, how many used cars do they have in stock? How many new cars do they have in stock, right? Look on the website. Does it seem like they got good pictures of their cars? Number one, it's not about you going to get the job and them saying yes. How about you interview them, okay? And I'm just saying this. I know you want to get a job, but you don't want to just get a job and be a person out there in the world that works somewhere. You want to find a place you love and go work at a great place and make it your life. Because if it's your life, you'll kill it. There's a difference between people who work and have to go to work and people who do love what they work and they must go to work because it's their life. It's a difference. So when you say, How, well, what does that have to do with getting my job? Well, number one, do a little research on the place that you're gonna go get the job at, okay? And that way, when you're having a conversation, just imagine this, based on the little bit of information I've given you, you're talking to a new car manager, used car manager, general manager, anybody that's talking to you and you're like, you know, hey, so yeah, so before I came in, I noticed on your website, right, that you had 63 new cars and 275 used. But then I noticed down the road at Johnson Buick and GMC, you know, they only had 63 used cars and uh, 200 uh, new cars. So I noticed you guys had 70 more new cars than them, so you must sell more because you carry more, right? And I want to be with the best, and that's why I came here. Guys like, shit, man, I didn't even know we had that many cars. Guess what? Bam! Brownie points. Think about it, okay? You want to do a little research on the place you're going to go. Just don't drive around in your car. Do some research and get the job that you want. But how do you get the job? Well, so the first thing is people are judging you. Right when they see you, they're judging you. Look, you can bring resumes into every car dealership out there, okay? Resumes aren't needed. There's not very many dealerships that want to see a resume. You know what they wanna do? They wanna look at you. They just wanna take a freaking look and go, huh, yep, looks nice. If they can say that, guess what? They'll come talk to you. But if they look over at you, right, and your freaking, your shoes look like you mowed the lawn in them, you got dirty jeans on, you're not wearing slacks, you don't have your shirt tucked in, you don't have your teeth brushed, you know what I mean, your hair combed, your hair cut, you're not fixed or, or manicured and looking nice, they're not gonna want to see you with their customers. Think about this. When you go in to get a job and I look at you, the first thing that I see is you. And the first thing that I think about is I bet this person's here because they wanna deal with my customers. Well, if I can't see you as somebody that I think that my customers would wanna deal with, you're not getting a job. So appearance is everything. You don't have to be a good looking person. You gotta, you gotta dress nice, you gotta look clean, you gotta look good, you gotta take care of yourself, okay? Do me a favor, before you go to your next job interview, okay? Go to Chick-fil-A, go to Chick-fil-A, go to order something. When you go to order your food when you're done, say, hey, can you guess what I do for a living? Just ask, I'll give you a hundred bucks if you can guess what I do for a living. And if they say, well, you gotta be a businessman. I know that. Guess what? You're on the right track and you're dressed nice. I know you are, because the person could guess, I don't know what it is, but you're a businessman, you're a businesswoman. But if you go into Chick-fil-A and she's like, I don't know, work at the mall, guess what? The customers see you as somebody who works at the mall. The manager is gonna see you as somebody who works at the mall, not as a business person, okay? So number one, dress, all right? Anybody right now that's not getting this, you're not gonna get the best jobs, I assure you, okay? So dress nice, even if you don't have the money to, wear, to buy nice stuff, go to the freaking Goodwill, okay? For five bucks, I can get you dressed up at the Goodwill, I promise you, okay? I did it myself when I was 18, you can do it, all right? So let's move to the next one. Smile, have a great attitude. 
Bring some energy to the table. When you go to meet people, guess what? Be exciting. One thing that you'll learn about car dealerships is they love to feed the machine. What's the machine? The machine is the showroom floor. They like energy, okay? Nobody wants a quiet showroom floor. There's always music on. Flags are flying, people are buying. Back in the day, we put balloons on the car. We want activity. Everybody wants energy. Energy feeds the dealership. It feeds the customer um, buying a vehicle. If you don't have a lot of energy, guess what happens? Your customers will die down. You may be able to go greet them and say hello and smile, and then after that, you can't do anything. You're an order taker saying, welcome to McDonald's. They wanna see that you got enough energy to take your customers through the process. So how would you show them that you could do that? Have enough energy to take the manager through the interview. Does that make sense? Bring your energy, okay? Put your entrepreneur hat on when you go in, right? Tell them you wanna be the best. And by the way, think big, think big. Do you think when people are hiring, they wanna hire another low guy on the totem pole who's gonna be average, who is settling, who's hoping to make just enough money to pay their bills? Or do you think they're trying to hire the next guy that's gonna come in and be the difference maker in the company? Which one? Difference maker, all right? Well, guess what? Can you be seen as the difference maker during the interview? You better be, because if you don't, there's a good chance you're not gonna get the job. The auto industry's on fire right now. Fire, like with flames, it's on fire. We're making more money and we know what to do with. Guess what? You wanna join, you wanna get in, but guess what? You're not gonna get the great jobs when their salespeople are making a lot of money if you're coming in and you're not a winner. So you wanna come in, be dressed nice, smile, have lots of energy, and then also the first things first is say, hey, look, I maybe don't know exactly what to do, but I can share with you this. I'm very coachable, write that down. I'm very coachable, I'm a fast learner. I listen, I, I listen. I'm willing to have a great attitude, great energy. I'm willing to do whatever you say every day. I'm one of the hardest workers in the room, okay? Again, this isn't my niche, but I know this, if I was coachable, if I was likable, if I smiled, if I had energy, if I had drive, if I was committed to being to work on time, if I worked hard, you probably would want someone like that inside your organization, wouldn't you? Yes, that's it. Guys, it's this simple. I'm gonna give you a couple more tips, but it's that simple, okay? They don't care what you did before in the past. I care about what you're wanting to do now, okay? And guess what? Are you gonna let the manager run the interview and ask a bunch of questions, or do you wanna take control and run the interview? You know what, one of the things that you'll learn in the car business is they always say, take control of your customers. All the people in the car business say, take control of your customers. What if you went in on the interview and took control of the manager? He'd be like, dude, I went down there to interview this guy. Number one, he interviewed me. And dude, I'm dying to hire the guy. Like, I can't believe this guy showed up. Where the hell did this person come from? Where did she come from? That's the way you want them thinking about you. Guess what? They need to be reminded, man, that there's great people out there that are coming in for jobs. You do it. Be the exception. The 99% or the 1% or who are you? When you show up, are you just like the last 10 people that interviewed? Are you unlike anyone else they've ever interviewed? Be that guy, be that woman. So dress nice, energy, make your presentation, make your presence great, speak up. Eye contact, write that down. Eye contact, just like I'm looking at you in the camera, I'm not looking over here. Imagine if I was talking, imagine this, if I shot this whole video saying, guys, so you know what I think we should do is do this. How stupid would that be? You'd probably be watching a different video right now. Eye contact, look, if it's you I wanna talk to, I'm gonna look in your eyes, and guess what? People love eye contact. It's one of the strongest things in negotiations and it's one of the strongest things where people build trust and rapport with people. Look in the eyes, eye contact, right? All right, what's next? Where you wanna go? What do you wanna do? How big you wanna dream? What's your goals? You got a family, tell them. Say, hey look, hey listen, I'm married, I've got three kids, I've got a giant why. 
Most people come in because they probably want to make enough money to go to the lake and drink beer for the weekend. That's not me. I, I want to build a house. I want to pay my cars off. I want to be financially free. I want to be the number one salesperson at the top of your sales board. And guess what? What I don't know, I'll learn. I want to be around great leaders. You're probably a great leader, right? Yeah, look at me nodding my head. He's like, well, who's the manager? He's going to be like, yeah, I'm pretty good. He's like, okay, cool. That's the guy I want to be around. Somebody like you that's going to teach me. And guess what? I want to blow the expectations of what's expected from a normal salesperson and blow that out of the water, okay? And I'm going to do it. Talk's cheap, but action's not. I love action, okay? And guess what? I'm, I came to this place because I looked you up online. You seem like a great place. I come here. I like the energy. You seem like a great guy. Look, man, let's break some records. Let's go. What I don't know, you'll teach me, and also I'll self-educate. Write that down. I'll self-educate. I'll self-educate, which means I'll learn everything you can teach me, but also I'll do the research on my own because I know it's my job to get myself better. I'll take ownership for myself. Okay? Guess what? <laughs> They're going to be blown away, man. They'll be like, dude, where did this person come from? We've been looking for this guy our whole life. We've been looking for her our whole life. You could be right now a bartender working at McDonald's, mowing lawns. You could be a lawyer. It doesn't matter. Car business will pay you a quarter of a million to half a million dollars a year if you're great. Just telling you. And by the way, the greatness, all the greatness, it's self-made. It's not born. Guess what? We train like heck. And that's what this channel is about is training. But I want to make sure that any of you guys have been watching the training and you're like, man, it's my time to get in. Well, now I'm giving you a video for you to go get the job that you want, go make it happen, and put the training in place. Hey, love you guys. Kill it. If you have any more questions, shoot me a text message, 918-210-0254. Kill it, crush it. I'll see you guys soon.